here we go. Let's dive right into it. Okay, so this video is gonna be a bit on the shorter side, I think, just because <clears throat> I'm a little bit busy today, so. <laughs> um, I wanna dive into more so like <clears throat> standards. I wanna dive into standards. Standards for me are something that throughout my entire life have not been present. And because they have not been present, I have conducted myself as well as my relationships in a very specific, unfortunate way. <laughs> and because of that, I have gotten taken advantage of, I've gotten walked all over. And here's the thing. Once you see yourself clearly, you know, underneath all of the layers of bullshit, of ideas and beliefs that you have taken on from other people that they have projected onto you, you'll come to find that there was never anything wrong with you. Right? So, when you finally get to see yourself fully, when you get, when you get to see yourself clearly, what happens is that you actually live from a place of authenticity. Because th think about think about it this way, right? Here's here's a very interesting metaphor, right? So imagine you you live in a house, right? And in that house there is something that just makes the experiences of your life fucking awful. Um <laughs> well we'll we'll make it that it's uh you have a couch that is covered in mold. Mold that is completely threatening to your life. Right? And that mold kind of just like came about, right? Um, I mean, that, 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 that couch with mold kind of just like came about. It just kind of like came out of nowhere, right? Um, you don't really know like how long it's been there and stuff. It smells like shit. It makes you feel fucking awful because it's not good for your health. Um, it really impacts your mental and emotional well-being. But it's just there, right? Trauma is, in a very similar way, impacting your life negatively. When you don't know what your trauma is, when you don't see yourself clearly, right? For instance, if you are somebody who has a tendency to ghost people, right? What is ghosting? Abandonment. <laughs> you learned abandonment from somebody close to you, probably a parent or something like that, or, an, or like another authority figure, right? So these, these wounds, this trauma that's fucking up your life, right? You're not going to be able to see yourself clearly until you understand these wounds, until you understand where they came from. And the reason why you carry this weight around is because